Hey, what's up guys? Someone recently asked me how I got the sunburst auto shape in my Adobe Fireworks graphics editing software. So in this Fireworks graphic design tutorial, you can learn how to download and install the sunburst auto shape. And this will also give you insight into searching out and finding many different extensions to your Fireworks software that will greatly expand its usefulness for you. So if I click my auto shapes tool, you can see here I have this sunburst near the bottom. If I pull it out, let's make it black, let's give myself a white canvas, and I'll draw myself an ellipse right on top, and I'll make that ellipse yellow, then I'll make my sunburst yellow, and there you go. You can also make a gradient, radial, let's swap those sides to where the white is on this edge. And it also has settings to make the rays wider, change the spacing of the rays, and the radius. So it's a really cool auto shape. Come in handy for a lot of your design work. First, go to Aaron Beal's website. I'll put a link to this page in the video's description. That way you can get right to this page on his website. And take a moment to appreciate the design of his website. You can tell he likes graphics editing a lot. When I first came to his website and I saw it, I was like, Oh, look what this guy did with the thing in the transparent tavern and everything. It's like he's editing in the, oh my god, it's real orange. Oh, and you look over that and it turns red. I was like, what? Now let's scroll down on this page and let's grab the sunburst.zip. It's going to give you the MXP and the JSF files. So if you're using Google Chrome, you can click down here and go to Show in Folder, or you can just use Windows Explorer side menu here to get to your Downloads folder right there. And you might as well grab all the other tools the guys got because they're all awesome. All right, you can close that window after you get the tools that you want from Aaron Beal's website. So we can close that out. And now in the Downloads folder, let's right-click that and extract here to unzip everything. Now there's two ways you can do it. I'm going to show you the manual way to do it which will give you a whole lot more power when it comes to adding to fireworks, adding to its uh, shapes or textures, patterns and things like that. So one way to do it to get it installed into fireworks is use the Adobe Extension Manager and double click that package right there. But I'm going to show you the manual way like I said. So double click on the Auto Shapes folder, go inside and grab those two files highlight both of them and copy then you can just close that window out so you go down here and hit your little windows bubble or you go to my computer if you're on windows and you go to your C drive you go to your program files and you find your Adobe folder you go into that and then you find your Adobe fireworks that you want to add this auto shapes to and you double click the configuration folder you go into auto shapes and this is where we're going to apply it. And you just right click on the side and paste. And you might be presented with this prompt that says destination folder access denied. You'll need to provide administration permission to continue. Okay, good. Now what it did is it put those two files within that folder along with all of your other auto shapes. Now before we open fireworks and inspect what we have now, in your configuration folder, you can put new patterns just sync them right in there. You can put new textures right there. And you can add all kinds of other tools to Fireworks to extend its power by using these folders. But now you can also use the Adobe Extension Manager, which makes it easier. You don't have to go messing around in these folders. But I like messing around in these folders because it's easier for me to apply patterns and things like that very quickly. Now you can now close that window and open Fireworks. Now let's create a new fireworks project and I'll just make this 800 by 500. Okay. And now in my auto shapes, which is over here, or you can go to window auto shapes and it'll pop open. Scroll down and you'll see that you now have sunburst. Like I said, you can apply all kinds of other things that fireworks might not come installed with by default that you can add to it later if you need it. 